Welcome back to The Fight. I'm Maureen McFadden. Joining us now is Abby Hack, a Notre Dame junior and member of the women's golf team who is coming to us from her home in Memphis, Tennessee. So, Abby, welcome to The Fight. Hi, Co thank you for having me. Thank you. And COVID-19 has impacted everyone in strange ways, but especially collegiate athletes whose seasons were ended prematurely. Can you take us through what that was like for you? Yeah, that came as quite a shock to us. I know our team was in Arizona playing a practice round for a tournament we host every year when we got the news. We were on hole 17 and they pulled us off the course. We didn't even get to finish the round. I don't think we expected the pandemic to become this bad. And as sad as we are to miss the end of our season, I think most of us are mostly sad at the time lost with our senior. I feel really blessed to have had her leadership, but the lost time is certainly a disappointment. I can't imagine. So your season's cut short and you're forced to head back home to Memphis and finish out the school year online. And I understand you've been putting your time at home to good use. Can you tell us about how you've personally joined the fight against COVID-19? So since I've gotten home from to Memphis, I've spent my time volunteering in a cancer clinic. I've helped screen patients and visitors, really anyone who walks through the door. I ask about symptoms, whether or not they've been in a hospital, whether they've been tested for the virus or been around anyone who could possibly have exposed them to the virus. If they do seem to be at risk, they are seen in an isolation room we set up. We never turn anyone away. I think some people are afraid of that when they hear my questions. It's just about preventing the spread of the virus because all of our patients are already have a compromised immune system. So we just want to do the best we can to protect everyone in our building. Now, a lot of people are afraid of this disease for good reason, but you don't seem to have any qualms about putting yourself out there to help those around you. Where does this courage and inspiration come from? My dad is an orthopedic oncologist, so I've been exposed to medicine since I was little. I've known I wanted to be a doctor and Although I've not yet attained that role, I'm really excited to be helping in the small way that I can. So how has this experience affected you as a person? Do you feel like it's shaping you in any special way? It has. I've been really moved by the interactions I've had with our patients. I've learned a lot of their stories, seeing the same people day after day. I've celebrated with patients after receiving their last treatment. I've also empathized with families grieving the loss of a loved one. Regardless of the specifics, these patients are going through a really scary and uncertain time in their lives, and that fear is amplified by this pandemic. And their courage is inspiring. It makes me want to be better. It makes me excited about my career as a physician, and I'm really excited about being able to participate in the medical field. Well, you've inspired us all. Thank you very much for joining us today, Abby. We appreciate it. Thank you.